Are you considering retiring to a 55 plus community in Delaware, but are not sure where to start? Well, that's where I can help. In this video, I'll be discussing 55 plus communities in the state of Delaware. So if you'd like to learn more, stay tuned. Hey there, my name is Chichi Aguaji. I'm a New York-based realtor with a focus on helping seniors and retirees sell their homes and find the best locations to retire. In this video, I'll be exploring 10 55 plus communities in the state of Delaware. So without further ado, let's get into it. First, we have Heritage Shores. Heritage Shores is a resort style 55 plus community located in Bridgeville, Delaware, which is in the southwest section of the state and holds one of the largest concentrations of active adult communities in the state of Delaware. Now, Bridgeville has a cost of living which is about 6% below that of the national average and 2% below that of the state of Delaware. Home prices in this community start at around $350,000 but you can get a three bedroom, two bath, 1800 square foot home for around $385,000. Now, something that's unique about this particular active adult community is that they offer both lease options as well as for sale options. So if you have the budget to purchase, you can go ahead and buy, but if you don't have the budget to purchase, then renting might be a better option for you. Renting starts at around $3,600, but they offer significant discounts if you sign a lengthier lease term. So with a one-year lease, you get $500 off, and with a two to five-year lease, you get $1,000 off. Additionally, the community allows you different opportunities for you to get a feel of what it would be like to live in this community. They offer what's called a test run. It's a trial period where you can spend three days and two nights in the community, you can test out the food, you can test out some of the activities. You can do all this for the price of $295. On-site activities or amenities go, they include a fitness center, a clubhouse, some pools, a dog park, pickleball, bocce ball, as well as a kayak launch area, just to name a few. The community's 18-hole golf course is considered to be one of the best in the world. And if this doesn't seem like enough activity for you, Bridgeville is located just a stone's throw away from Maryland. It's about two hour drive away from Philadelphia and Washington, DC. Next, we have the ponds at Bayberry. The 500 home village of Bayberry is a master plan community located just outside the town of Middletown, Delaware. Now, although the cost of living in Middletown is a bit high, it's 20% higher than national average, and it's also 16% higher than the state of Delaware. The look and charm of the village of Bayberry can somehow make you feel like the cost is worth it. The town has the look and feel of a quintessential small town with a central green gazebo, plenty of walking trails, plenty of bike trails, as well as fountained ponds. Now homes in this community do start at around $488,000. For that, you can get a 1,400 square foot home with two bedrooms, two baths, an ensuite bathroom, as well as a two car garage. Amenities include a fitness center, a ballroom. Outside, you can find a tiki bar, pickleball courts, as well as a fire pit. Most indoor amenities are accessible inside the 10,000 square foot luxury clubhouse, which sits just in front of a walking trail and just across from a pond. Middletown has plenty of activities to help keep you busy. Local activities include four different parks, a golf course, as well as a theater. And of course, if needed, you do also have easy access to the local hospital, Christiana Care Go Health Urgent Care Hospital, which is located 15 minutes away. Hey, if you're enjoying the video so far, feel free to like, feel free to subscribe, and let's keep going. Next, we have Spring Arbor. Also located in Middletown is the 55 plus community of Spring Arbor. This community also has a small town feel and allows you to purchase single level style homes as well as carriage style homes. Homes in Spring Arbor start at around $350,000. For that, you can get a 1,700 square foot single level, two bed, two bath home. Monthly maintenance in Spring Arbor is around $200, and this includes maintenance for all common areas, lawn care, as well as the exterior upkeep of the home. But note that the HOA will not include water, sewer, and trash pickup. Now, amenities include a fitness center, as well as some tennis courts, and a 7,000 square foot clubhouse, which includes its very own 
library and lounge area. Next we have Champions Club at Jonathan's Landing. Champions Club is a 55 plus community sitting on 112 acres located in Magnolia, Delaware. Magnolia, Delaware is located in central Delaware and is just about a 10 minute drive south of Dover. Community has about 326 homes which range in size from 1500 square feet to about 1,900 square feet and range in price from $400,000 to upwards of $500,000. Now you can get a two bedroom, two bath, single level, 1,600 square foot home with a two car garage along with plenty of yard space for around $430,000. Cost of living in Magnolia is 6% higher than the national average and 3% higher than the state of Delaware. Amenities include billiards, a library, a great room with a dance floor, walking paths, as well as a clubhouse. And Jonathan's Landing also boasts an 18-hole championship golf course. Now from Magnolia, you'll be able to get to Wilmington, Delaware, or Brandywine Valley, Pennsylvania in just under an hour. And of course, Dover is only a 15 minutes drive away. Next, we have Long Acre Village. Now Long Acre Village is a 55 plus community that includes 300 homes, which include a mix of townhouses, single family homes, as well as duplexes. The community is located in Dover, Delaware, which we know is the state capital. Now homes in Long Acre Village range in size from 1,200 square feet up to 3,000 square feet, and they range in price from about $200,000 up to $350,000. You can get a 2,200 three bedroom, two bath carriage style home for $320,000. Cost of living in Dover is 7% below that of the national average and 10% below that of the state of Delaware. Amenities include a 3,000 square foot clubhouse, an outdoor pool, as well as a terrace that's fit for a resort. And if you're into culture or history, Dover might be a dream retirement location for you. So if you choose to retire to Dover, some museums that you can potentially visit are the Biggs Museum of American Art, along with the Mobility Command Museum or the Johnson Victrola Museum. You'll also have access to the Bay Health Kent Campus Hospital, which is located in Dover and it's only a 10 minute drive from Long Acre Village. So if you're considering selling your home and retiring to the state of Delaware, but need some assistance figuring out where exactly you should retire, feel free to reach out to me. I would be happy to assist you. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something new and I hope to see you in the next one.